channel guys, Sergio from Panic Flip Gaming. Thank you for joining me again today and thank you to all those that recently subscribed. Before I start uh, with this video, uh, I want to give a very special shout out to Andy at Andy's Arcade. He has a channel on YouTube. If you haven't checked it out yet, please do so. Uh, he's got some really nice arcade content and uh, he is solely responsible for helping me through my journey on um, updating my Street Fighter 2 uh, arcade cabinet that you see back here. Um, so a little backstory uh, with my Street Fighter. Um, it was my second uh, arcade machine uh, I collected uh, out of 23 and uh, all of them are gone now except uh, my Street Fighter. So I have ties uh, and, and fond memories of, uh, of playing Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting uh, in the Red Z-Back style cabinet you see here. Uh, back in my high school days, uh, particularly uh, the uh, arcade I used to frequent, which was Pockets. And uh, I used to spend tons and tons and tons of quarters uh, at lunchtime, you know, playing this game. And when I ran out of quarters, I used to ask the old man, I forget uh, his, his true name, his, we used to call him Pops. I'm sure he's, uh, he's uh, passed away now. Uh, he was quite elderly at the time. This was back in probably, you know, the, uh, the mid-90s now. And, um, you know, uh, I just, I really, really enjoyed playing, uh, you know, the game. Um, there was a few, a few titles uh, within the arcade that I truly enjoyed playing uh, as well, but not as much as Street Fighter 2. And so between myself and this guy, Rui, I used to go to school with, um, we, <laughs> we ruled that arcade. There wasn't anybody that can come in. And, uh, and that could beat us, and uh, it was a, a deadly, uh, you know, deadly combination. Uh, he uh, used to use Guile, I used to use uh, Ken, and so uh, there, wasn't, there wasn't anyone that could take us down. We definitely ruled the arcade back in the day. Um, so anyway, uh, fast forward, um, I always wanted to uh, replicate that, that arcade experience, um, and uh, I, I looked and looked and looked for a Street Fighter II Z-Back. For those of you that don't know, um, Capcom released Hyper Fighting in a dedicated Z-Back cabinet by 3KOM, that's K-O-A-M. And the Champions Edition came in the big blue, as uh, some of you may know, and that's also made by 3KOM. So for me, I had to have you know that, that same cabinet uh, or same style cabinet that I remember playing in the arcade. So, I searched and searched, couldn't find anything, and then one day, um, uh, through a form, I think CGCC, I'm not sure if they're around anymore, um, there was somebody posting, uh, or somebody that had posted some items for sale, some arcade items for sale. And I was scrolling through the pictures and I found uh, my, the, the Z-Bag, and so I messaged the guy, I said, listen, do you by any chance have that uh, red uh, Street Fighter or Z-Bag uh, machine uh, still available? He said, actually, I, I do. It's sitting in the barn. It's empty. It has a working monitor, but it's got it. Um, you know, so we made a deal. I think he ended up delivering it for about $125 or whatever it was. I was, I was over the moon. Um, but, of course, being new to the hobby, I had no idea how to restore this thing back to, you know, uh, its former glory, you know, with, uh, you know, JAMA, JAMA board, JAMA harness. Uh, later on... Uh, as, as I uh, got more and more in depth with the arcade hobby, um, I became very familiar. Uh, but by then, I had already put a PC into my uh, cabinet, uh, and you know, I added main to it, and I had all the Street Fighters and the Mortal Kombat's and a few other games running. So I left it. Anyway, fast forward to today. Um, uh, it's uh, well. Let me sorry. Let me backtrack for a minute. Um, with the main setup. I was running Altamark's Arcade VGA, an Arcade VGA 3000 that's now obsolete. And so what the Arcade VGA card does is basically it's an ATI card flashed with special drivers that allows, um, you know, MAME, um, you know, to run uh, the uh, arcade games in a CRT monitor at their true native arcade resolutions. And so... You know, um, I you know I was very new to to, uh, to you know even the computer world back then, and somehow you know some way I finagled uh, you know the setup and I got it to work, and so I left it alone. Um, and it wasn't up to maybe a few weeks ago I started uh, you know looking into upgrading the, the machine because it was running Windows XP, 
and I says, well, you know what, um, I have to do something. I have to upgrade with you know Windows 10, um, and I do want to add a few more ROMs because the computer here wasn't running you know Mortal Kombat 4 and it's you know some more of the more uh, 3D intensive you know titles. Uh, so I started looking online for a solution to the arcade VGA because the arcade VGA has been discontinued. And lo and behold, I came across uh, Andy's uh, channel who explains uh, how to install um, the uh, Groovy Main um, and also uh, uh, you know download and set up the CRT MU driver um, that basically is a set of uh, drivers uh, that are uploaded into your graphics card. There's specific graphics cards you have to use. I used an ATI HD, I think 5450, like a $20 run of the mill card. And um, you know, had some trouble setting it up, uh, but again, Andy was uh, was able to help me. Uh, I'm not going to go through in depth with a guide on how to install it because he's got a phenomenal guide A to Z. Um, he's very, very uh, meticulous on how he explains things. Uh, but the one thing I will say is I did run into some issues with my desktop resolution, and so I followed all his steps. But when it came down to the uh, to the desktop resolution, I couldn't select 640 by 480. I only kept getting 344 by 240. And so one tip I will give everyone is that if you're going to um, if you're going to up, you know uh, set up the program, when you get down to the um, uh, downloading the uh, resolutions onto the card, make sure that your arcade monitor is plugged in. And so I'll leave a link um, to Andy's channel. You'll see what I mean by it. Uh, but this video was sort of, um, you know, I didn't want to get it too long, but I wanted to give you a back, you know, a backbone history of, of, of my machine and, and why I decided to do what I did. And so uh, I got it working a couple days ago and um, it's absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to take you guys off the tripod shortly um, and I'll show you what I mean uh, by, uh, you know, by having native resolutions, you know, running uh, on the CRT. Uh, it just looks absolutely incredible. So uh, why don't we do that now? All right, guys, got you back in front of the machine here. And uh, as you can see, um, you know, the CRT has a very distinguished, um, you know, scan line look to it. And so this is what obviously, you know, everyone tries to duplicate these days, uh, you know, when they install, you know, MAME, running on an LCD with the shaders, which are basically the CRT scan lines. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm a huge fan of obviously the scan lines. This is what I grew up playing. Uh, the sad reality is that arcade monitors, uh, you know, are very difficult to come by, almost impossible. So a lot of people gravitate to LCDs. Um, you know, I myself still have obviously my original CRT. This is a 25 inch uh, Wells Gardner K7000. Uh, one of the best monitors ever built, absolute, you know, bulletproof. And uh, you can see like how beautiful the uh, the picture looks. Um, I'm gonna back out of here, and I just want to show you guys uh, something, um, so you can see what I mean by the uh, Games True uh, arcade resolution and versus what this CRT MU driver Switch Res app does. Okay, so let's take a look at that now. Okay, guys. So I pulled up the main uh, menu, uh, the machine information. And uh, my camera is having a little bit, a uh, little bit of trouble auto focusing, so I apologize. If you look at the section that says video, that is the game's true arcade resolution. Uh, basically, the game board's uh, resolution. This is what it's outputting to the screen: 384 by 224, 59.6 hertz. The Switch Res app selected 384 by 240p, which is the next. Uh, closest resolution. It doesn't have a 224, it's got the 240, but still it's 59.637 Hertz, um, which is which matches the uh, arcade resolution. So what that means is you get that true authentic arcade uh, resolution uh, and play the game the way it was meant to be played. So uh, again, the reason why I made this video was to show you guys, um, you know, this has been around for some time, but for some of you, um, you know, that are running a MAME setup on an arcade CRT, you're running still maybe uh, the arcade VGA, you're afraid, uh, you don't have any solutions. Um, this, uh, you know, this Groovy MAME um, and this uh, CRT uh, MU driver uh, is absolutely amazing. Um, 
I believe the gentleman, I should have said this at the beginning, I'm terrible with names, but I believe the gentleman responsible for the program is named Phil. And uh, I know Andy uh, gave him a shout out on his uh, channel as well. So, um, you know, uh, I, I don't want to leave him out as well because he's the one that was responsible for this. So, um, yeah, uh, having said that, I'll just give you guys a quick rundown of what I've done uh, with my Street Fighter as far as, you know, the games. And, uh, you know, I'm going to wrap up this uh, video. Arcade builds. I'm sure you guys have been watching my arcade one up uh, build videos. Um, I like to install launch box and big box on all my setups. Um, this is a phenomenal front end. I've said that from you know time and time and time again, and I'll continue to say it. I won't use anything else. It's just so easy to use and so user friendly. Uh, so basically, uh, the only system I have uh, here is arcade. I wasn't interested in adding anything else, and so within arcade. I have obviously a bunch of Street Fighters, um, you know, there was all sorts of bootlegs and stuff released back in the day. Um, I made sure I added all of them, let's just start at the beginning here. Um, yeah, I got some gun games as well that I have to set up. Uh, Art of Fighting, which is a very popular Neo Geo game back in the 90s. Killer Instinct, Killer Instinct 1 and 2. Um, King of Fighters. Uh, I basically added all the fighting games that I remember, you know, playing in the arcade. Uh, you know, Mortal Kombat, you know, 1, 2, and 3, uh, you know, etc., etc. So, uh, again, there's some gun games in there. And so, let me just uh, load up here. Um, let me just load up here Killer Instinct. There we go. Mm -hmm. Killer Instinct has one of the best attract uh, modes I've ever seen. The music is absolutely amazing. Sorry, guys, just getting in front of the camera here. I'm just going to turn up the volume a little bit. I love listening to the uh, to the intro on uh, on this particular machine. But again, you guys can see how beautiful it looks. And uh, if we look at the um, if we look at the uh, machine information, let's see if we go into uh, machine information. Uh, there it is again. The video is 320 by 240, and the switch res, um, you know, is telling us that it's uh, it's got 320 by 240p at 60 hertz, which is exactly uh, the way the game was meant to be played. So what you do get is that uh, true, authentic, uh, you know, arcade look. Um, and also, you know, you don't get the lag and stuff like that that you get with obviously the LCD screens and whatnot. So, yeah. Actually, I have to turn up the, the volume on this. It's a little bit low. But, uh, yeah, guys, anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. I know I'm already going on. Um, I appreciate you guys, you know, tuning in and, and, uh, and watching. Um, yeah, I know that some of you express that you like... Uh, my arcade stories uh you know i have many many more if you want to hear them by all means just uh, comment below and, and and i'll share with you guys so uh thanks guys for watching appreciate it until next time happy gaming